Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing how I flat twist my hair um, into two twists going back. I'm starting off on freshly washed hair, freshly deep conditioned, um, and <laughs> by that phase, that's just me being excited by the definition or what the deep conditioner did because it was new, so I'm trying it out. Um, there is some leave-in in my hair also so I'm just putting some gel on top of that by putting the gel on there it kind of flaked up some it left some residue so I'm just starting with flat twisting the front and trying to get those tangles out at the end so on this side of my hair I didn't do a straight middle part going all the way back but it is a middle part towards the middle and back and in the front it's just like kind of a side part just to give me more of a bang when I take the twist out. There's some residue there <laughs> from the leave-in. I'm not sure if it was from the leave-in or the gel or the oil, but that's just what happened. Um, luckily my, my twist out did not come out with flakes or anything. So what I'm doing is actually just putting this section, I am flat twisting the top and combining the back, which is already flat twisted. And what I'm doing now is just going to combine the two together by braiding them. I'm gonna take my comb just kind of detangle it a little bit to get it as um, detangled as possible but my hair was not really cooperating at this stage I was trying some new products out on my hair new deep conditioner new leave-in and it's just it was much different my hair was kind of hard to style but we made it work so by taking those two flat twists I'm just going to braid it together Try to make sure that it's smooth. Towards the end, I just take whatever hair is left in the sections that they're already in. I'll probably put two on one side and one on the other and just twist them and combine them to make like a twist at the bottom to curl it. I'm also trying to get this excess residue out of my hair um, just so that it does not dry into it because it may be hard to get out. So. Just taking that out. After I finish the second twist on that side, I'm just gonna take a toothbrush and some gel and try to do my edges a little bit, just because I am gonna be wearing my hair like this for a while, for a couple days until it dries. And this is what the back is looking like. <laughs> dance move <laughs> and I just put my scarf on my scarf it stays depending on how I'm sleeping so I also put a bonnet on it just to kind of help secure it some this is day one hair cam um, you can kind of see what it's looking like I do have a filter on but you can see what it's doing so I actually wore my hair like this. Um, I just took the two braids from hanging and I like crossed them in the back and pinned them up to each other with the bobby pin, one on each side and just tucked them into the flat twist. And I wore my hair like this for about three days. It was dry after about two, but I forgot what I had to do the third day, but I couldn't really just take my hair out that day. So this is the third day. My edges are still pretty laid i guess my hair is still kind of laid it's not frizzy this is giving me lavender vibes and i'm not talking about my shirt <laughs> i'm gonna take some oil rub it on my hands just while i take out my hair i try not to put too much oil because sometimes it can make my hair frizzy so i take out my braids um based on how i put them in i try to just let it unravel naturally you can see that little frizz there from when i took the comb at the last minute and <laughs> brushed out the second half of that braid instead of the whole thing so i have a little piece that's sticking out there 
but it's okay. And in some spots where it's frizzy, I just carefully unravel based on the pattern by pulling on one side and normally the other ones will just detangle by themselves, will unravel by themselves. You can see where I have a short piece there that probably came from my top twist. I think I kind of confused myself at that moment. <laughs> trying to take them out because it was four rather than three. When taking out your twist and braids, you just kind of want to be careful because um, separating it, you may lose some definition, but you can also lose definition by rushing it and taking it out too fast. I try to be careful with my ends because I did not put a curl at the bottom. I did not curl them or anything. I just twisted it, so yeah. And there you can see my two sections, one section in the back, one in the top. And all these little straightaway pieces, just really careful with them because they can twist into something else and it cause like a knot. So I just take them out pretty carefully. The front is always much easier to unravel because there's less hair. So it's thinner, the more hair, it's thicker. And my hair, it just is naturally thick, I guess. So... <laughs> So moving along to the other side, just to kind of show you again how I took out the braid. My hair for the most part holds shape or whatever mold it's in pretty well. It's just trying to get it into the mold is the thing. Like my hair, you can tell it's curly, but it doesn't really have much of a shape like at the ends. So if you stay tuned, I'll show you a trick on what I do for those pieces that just aren't really staying. We'll show you my trick on how I fix that. And also there's a knot in my hair. I have a lot of one strand knots um, that I'm working on trying to get them out, but that's just a process because they're at different lengths. When I separate my hair, I just do it on the parts where I feel like it's kind of thin or where there isn't much value, just like those empty spaces. This is one of my quicker hairstyles where I don't really feel like doing a wash and go or a small twist. It probably took me about 30 minutes to do this hairstyle. So this is my trick here. I take some gel, put it towards the end of my hair, and I just twist it. Similar to like a wash and go, but it's really just to get those pieces that are like frizzy and don't really have much of a shape. This is what I do just to try to help it out. Once I put the gel on there, it starts to curl up more. It may not completely match with the rest of my hair, but it blends in pretty good. Um, and it just, to me, it just looks better because honestly there's no guarantee that a twist out a braid out or any way that you do your hair is going to come out perfect i just like to share some tips and hacks that i've learned instead of trying to accomplish the perfect hairstyle i just try to work with it if it doesn't come out perfect so that's looking pretty frizzy there i'm just going to take some gel smooth it out and just try to coil it with my finger It's looking pretty straight right now, but it'll curl up in just a second. I try to let it curl up on its own rather than trying to force it because my hair is dry and I just kind of want it to do its own thing. I normally only do this once, which is right after taking out my hair. I don't do it throughout the week or whenever it starts to poof up. And I don't do it on every strand of hair or that many. I just try to do it just to fill in those frizzy parts. Um, but to me, it kind of looks more natural if I leave some of the frizziness out because it looks more like my hair rather than someone asking me if I have like a piece or a half wig on. So that piece is actually starting to curl up pretty fast. And right now it is different lengths, but it'll start to get into shape the longer I leave it out. I'm just going to fix up my edges a little bit because at this point of the video, I am getting dressed to go somewhere. I'm not really going to use too much of a toothbrush. I don't do my edges too much. Um, because they are starting to grow back. They were thinning at one point and I just want them to grow back. So I try not to bother them too much. Just kind of fluff up my hair. I don't do that with a pick. I'd normally do it just with my fingers. Also, if you have any comments or any hair suggestions or any hairstyles you would like for me to try out, please comment them below. So this is what it's looking like right now. You can see some of the um, hair strands that I gelled starting to curl up. This is a back view. So this is me heading out. <laughs> I actually got dressed. My hair kind of poofed up on the sides a little bit because I changed my shirt about three different times. So this part that I'm actually holding up, 
I probably, I'm just letting you know that I probably should have gelled it up some more because you can see where it's coiled at the bottom, but not so much at the top of that strand. But this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications to be notified when I post a video. And thanks for watching. See you soon.